So the Cornerman Radio, the next fight, man, I wanted to talk about it. Triple G, Gennady Golovkin versus Billy Joe Saunders in June for to become the undisputed champion. Gennady Golovkin has the WBA belt, super WBA belt, the regular WBA belt, the IBF, the WBC, the IBO, and Billy Joe Saunders got the WBO belt. What's your take on it, man? My take is this. They're gonna they're building it. Oh, we're gonna have it in Kazakhstan. Listen, I love Triple G, but listen to what I'm saying. They building this 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 picture, and he is the greatest athlete I know of from Kazakhstan. Gonna have a big event in his country. The last belt is coming. It's on the line. Everybody can't wait. It's gonna be a great moment. But Billy Joe Saunders, are you kidding me? Do not sleep on Billy Joe Slick Saunders. This dude is slick. You see what he did against Andy Lee? I would have liked for him to have had a little more confidence in himself after he dropped Andy Lee, but he was cautious, and he really wanted to win a belt. He almost lost that belt, though, because he let Andy Lee come back in the fight. But I did see something in and Billy Joe Saunders, is that he can fucking box. We don't know. And his chin is obviously good. Well, Andy Lee, it was hard for Andy Lee to catch him because he's got good defense. But he's got quick feet. And not like side to side like Jacob's quick, but he's in and out quick and angle quick. He can get out to different angles pretty quick. And he's got faster hands than Triple G. That's why everybody is like, oh, Billy Joe Saunders will be a nightmare matchup for Canelo. He might go over to fucking Kazakhstan, and, and all these dudes are coming at Triple G. They're all having these incredible training camps. Danny Jacobs had an incredible training. Now Triple G is at a moment in his career where he's feeling like Floyd Mayweather. Like, these dudes are coming for you, bro. They're having incredible training camps. They're bringing in guys like Chris Algieri for nutritionists. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're they're able to rehydrate. They're doing all kinds of slick shit because they're coming after the monster Triple G. They, Billy Joe's going to be in the mountains. And I, who knows where he's going to be fucking training. But he's going to be ready for this huge event in Kazakhstan. Am I saying he will do it? I've got a feeling he got a good-ass chance to do it, bro. I got a feeling Billy Joe Saunders, I, I, people call him Billy Ho, they joking him, but this motherfucker is confident, he's slick. Don't fuck with his slickness. Don't fuck with everybody, everybody quick to say, oh, um, you know, Jacobs is number two, he deserves to be number two right now, and then Lemieux number three. I don't know. I don't know. Billy Joe, he got more skills than David Lemieux. I do love David Lemieux's style, pressure, but Billy Joe got a brain up in there. He thinks in the ring. Can he outthink Golovkin and stay away from that power and outpoint him? I'm telling you, it's very possible. Very possible. I'm not going to make my pick right now unless you want me to. Nah, you can go ahead and pick your pick. Talking myself in to picking Billy Joe. I'm almost talking myself into that. But I feel like Golovkin, that jab is, that jab offsets everything. He got a monsterful jab. But he can't make that. Yo, if he wants to, that's the thing, though. If Billy Joe can manipulate him into a boxing match, similar how he did to Andy Lee for the first half, but carried at the second half, get in a really good shape, Golovkin might need a problem. You know, Golovkin needs to Golovkin needs to apply super pressure to Billy Joe Saunders. You know, what I mean, he needs to go back to being the, that that type of Golovkin in his home country. And but that could be a problem too, because Billy Joe is a very good counter puncher, bro. Billy Joe, a lot of people sleep on his style, man. 
He's slick with the uppercut. Bam, bam. Couple shots, he's out. Bam, bam. You know, we're going to find out how good it is. Because Andy Lee wasn't able to really touch that chin yet. You know what I mean? And that's like the only piece of evidence we have on Billy Joe. And that the first five rounds, Billy Joe looked incredible. He almost let that fight slip away. But giving him a chance, I'm not going to pick him, though. I'm not. I, I'm just going to. I'm going to hype that. I think it's, a, it's an awesome fight, man. All the belts are on the line. Give Billy Joe some credit. That's all I'm saying. That's, that's all I'm saying. If anybody out there has to talk about this fight, I don't know. Give Billy Joe credit, bro. What you got? Well, um, for me. Oh, oh, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. My bad. One more thing. Everybody that was talking shit about Billy. Oh, Billy holds on and he's done. Motherfucker, this is business. Now he's getting this big ass fight. And he let Golovkin go through. And he's smart because he let Golovkin fight a tough-ass fight. If you don't think that Jacob's fight took a little bit out of Golovkin, trust me, it sucked the energy bar down a little bit, fellas. That's all I got. Like, Billy Joe is a smart motherfucker with the timing. Is it the right time? Nobody knows. I don't know. Canelo's probably going to be the one that that catches him at the right time. Somebody's going to catch him at the right time. Triple G's a monster. It's all in timing. The monster gets cut down. That's it. That's all I got. I got that. Well, I love I'm, that. I'm, I love it too, man. It's one of the fights that I always wanted to see. Um, and we finally get to see an undisputed champion, man. But I'm I just glad Billy <laughs> was willing to take this fight, man, because. He's always said he was two years away from fighting Triple G, so I just can't. I just can't wait to see. I hope it gets made and gets official in June, so it can end the talk of Billy Joe and Triple G's. He signed the contract. Nobody can talk bad about Billy no more. Billy has beat two top names, Andy Lee a top 10 middleweight, and he's beat Chris Eubank, who everybody made made that Triple G was scared of. That was the rumor going on, Triple G was scared of Eubank. Billy Joe did defeat that guy. So we can't count Billy out. You know what I mean? We have um, that Jacobs fight with Triple G. I thought Jacobs pulled it off. At least by two rounds, I scored it a seven-five fight. Um, that knockdown was like a flash knockdown. He didn't really hurt him. He hurt him like after the towards the end of the fight, but he didn't hurt him while he knocked him down. Um, but I'm just kind of happy that we finally get to see a um, undisputed champion. If Jacobs did a, um, did got the victory, I thought he did win, like I said. If he did got the victory, he only would have had four belts because he um he didn't he missed the win for the same day in win for the IBF. So that belt he wouldn't have never got if he unless he fought Triple G for a rematch. But yeah. But I'm kind of, I'm I'm definitely happy that Billy Joe and Triple G is made. I do see Triple G might win this fight, but I also can see Billy Joe winning this fight also. So I can't wait, man. 